I'm going to talk about isolating uh, accessory belt problems from the main engine in this video. Um, some of you will have seen my previous video where I replaced the belt, the idler pulley and the tensioner on this Ford Duratec. Uh, that was about a thousand kilometers ago. And since then I've been getting a bit of a knock and uh, even the occasional squeal, uh, which I didn't initially put together until testing it. Uh, it also tends to make a squeak on startup. Uh, listen to this. And then at certain revs and under certain loads, I get this knocking. Now, you can hear this in the cabin while driving and certainly outside the car. And it sounds pretty bad. And, you know, you start thinking rod knock, something internal to the engine. Um, but I also knew it had started after I replaced the accessory belt. So that's suspicious, isn't it? You know, it's like new tensioner, new belt, which is, um, you know, not as uh, stretched as the old one. Uh, and so maybe that means more force on the pulleys. So it can be really hard to pinpoint engine noise. And the easiest way to rule out the accessory drive system as a whole is to just disconnect the belt entirely and then run the engine. Now that might seem dangerous, but it's really fine. You just need to be aware of two things. One, you don't have any cooling because the water pump's not running. So the engine will overheat if you run it for long enough. And two, you don't have any electrics other than as supplied by the battery, which won't last long without the alternator. But if you have an obvious noise, you really only need to run the engine for a few seconds to hear the difference. So I've disconnected the belt from the crankshaft pulley here, um, and you could take the belt out completely, or just make sure it's held well clear of the crankshaft, and then run the engine like normal, and try to repeat uh, whatever gave you the noise previously. And as you can hear, that knock of mine has disappeared completely and the engine runs perfectly smoothly. So now I know it has to be one of the pulleys and the engine seems fine. A mechanical knocking uh, isn't going to be the belt slipping or being uh, misaligned. That would cause a squeal. Um, and I also had already replaced a few of the pulleys recently. So for me, it's just a case of identifying which of the remaining ones is the likely suspect. And here, this uh, water pump pulley is obviously gone. It spins too freely. Um, it's worse than when I checked it when I replaced the belt. Now, I can't reproduce the knocking by hand like this. It obviously has to be spun faster, or maybe it needs to have, to have the belt tension on it. Um, but it definitely needs replacing, so I'll do it anyway. Uh, this is the new one. I'll do a separate video on that job, but just here you can see how, how the pulley turns smoothly and the grease that's packed into the bearings is obviously stopping it from spinning freely. Yeah, so um, all I want to say is just don't be afraid to run the engine without the belt connected up um, in order to do this sort of elimination test. Uh, just so long as you do it only briefly and you don't let it overheat, you should be fine. So um, I'll be working on the water pump video next and then probably another short one on the tensioner. And then hopefully I'll be done with the damn accessory drive for a while. Have fun.